Hello fellow investor, it was more than seven months from when Interactive Broker came out with a new desktop application that's supposed to uh, replace in some way the Trader Workstation or the web portal. It's a very easy to use application. I already made a review around six months ago. It was the first version that came out, but uh, right now we are at version number six. It's still in preview mode, but it's version number six. There are a lot of add-on new features, so I want to make another review, an updated review. If you want the previous one, a link in the description. So before to start, I want to show the website of Interactive Broker. This is the link to download the application because somebody asked me in the previous video where I can download it. Link in the description. Here there is the link to download. There are all the features inside this uh, desktop app and also what's in the pipeline. I mean, what they are going to add uh, further on. And we can also see right here, this is some sort of explanation of what they did in a different preview. You know, you can go back to version two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, and uh, there are description of what they did, what are the new features and so on. But I will try to address now everything during my review. So let's go back. This is uh, uh, the full portfolio. I mean, I have two, honestly, I have three different uh, interactive broker account. These are the common one. And from here I can select, for example, my dividend portfolio only. At the moment, the market is open. You see that have a daily profit and loss. A little bit more than $3,000 loss, but it's pretty fine. And uh, let's start talking about the fact that still the value and the performance preview doesn't work very good. Sometimes it appears right here, sometimes not. Uh, again, it's still in beta, we need to understand that. Uh, and also the calendar event is not working, while the news work pretty fine. Uh, this is your portfolio. It's nice to have this new trend tab where you can see uh, the market is open just from a few minutes. So of course, there is not much to see, but here you will see the trend during the day. As usual, this is fully customizable. You can just click right here and you can decide to add or remove any column you want. Uh, you can also, by the way, change the display mode and pass from dark to light. I honestly prefer the light mode, so I will keep it in light mode, but if you like a dark one, you're welcome, you have it. And uh, so if you click on everything, for example, you click on Broadcom, right here you have the panel in order to buy and sell. Uh, if you want to set up a buy order, uh, here you have the all type of order, limit market order, or, you know, there's really a lot you can do. This is much similar to the Trader Workstation. You have uh, really a lot of option. And, uh, okay, you have general information, you can close your position, you have the news and so on. Let me anyway enter inside Broadcom because when we enter inside each different stock, there are more changes comparing to the previous version. And uh, let's double click right here. It opened the panel uh, of the chart of Broadcom in this case. Uh, chart also is quite customizable. And here we see the biggest news. The biggest news of all is that we have the option chain. Comparing to the first version of this desktop app where option was not tradable, right now are tradable. Uh, I will enter into that in a moment because first I want to show that they had also the possibility to have the multi-chart. I'm not much into technical analysis, honestly, but uh, if you are, if you like to play with chart uh, and uh, you don't like how to do it in the Trader Workstation, you can do it right here. You can select, uh, for example, uh, uh, four uh, chart, you know, see right here, each of them is quite well customizable. You can decide to have in a different line or you can, I don't know, decide to apply uh, whatever thing you want. I mean, again, I'm not into the technical analysis, but uh, if you are, it become a quite powerful tool. I still think that uh, to draw on the chart is much better on the Trader Workstation. The few times I did, I feel more comfortable in the Trader Workstation, but I believe that they are becoming better and better. So let me go back to a single chart because at least it's more clear. This is the first big change. Second big change, which for me is tremendously important, is the possibility to trade option. So if we click right here, we have the option chain. On the top part, we have the expired date for this one, for example, expired two days, Friday, we can go in 21 days, for example. And here we have the option chain. We can decide to have a different number of strikes uh, and uh, you know, we can make it more if we want, if we want more option, let's say. 
And uh, let's say we select, for example, we want to sell a put, it go in the order right here. This is the quantity, market limit, you know, the same stuff. If you like uh, and you want to see a little bit how to sell and trade option, I made other video will link in the description that show how it does exactly on this desktop app. We have the performance profile. This is very good. We see what is the maximum loss we can have from the trade, the maximum return, and what is the break even. And we see also by graphic point of view how the option it will perform. And if we want, we can also add the uh, second leg option, second or third leg option. We need to habilitate here the strategy builder. So the strategy builder let us do uh, complex option trading. For example, we can decide to sell a put and at the same time to sell a call. I don't know, I'm just making one example right here. You see you have two different uh, uh, legs of the same uh, strategy. For example, you sell a put at uh, 1170 and you sell a call at 1235. Uh, here we have the performance profile, uh, right here we see graphically. I'm not suggesting this trade, it's probably a crap, I just pick it out like that. But it's very nice, it's very similar with the option strategy builder that you have in the Trader Boss Station. Uh, link in this video if you want to know more because I did a full analysis of the strategy builder. Uh, still can do much more than this desktop app, but it's quite uh, uh, a big uh, improvement comparing to before. And I need also to say that they add the Fundamental Explorer right here inside the app before it was a link to, let's say, external source that was on the website. And right here you have the Fundamental Explorer. I will show you a bit how it is. Let me make it as bigger as I can. Here is just a summarize of all the different uh, uh, tabs. You see Morningstar, K-Ratio, Dividend, ASG Report, everything you have right here. If you want to enter into detail a bit, we can check, for example, uh, the K-Ratio. That is quite inter interesting. You have all the K-Ratio you can think about. Uh, I mean, at least all the one that you really need uh, because there are thousands of them. We can see different ratio, for example, the price to sale. We see the trend and the performance compared to the industry. If we want to click right here, it's very nice visually. Uh, we have the, the industry comparison. In this case, I select, select Broadcom, for example, and I have the biggest competitor, which are TSM, AMD, NVIDIA, and Intel. We see graphically the price to sale and the performance, I mean, the history of price to sale in Broadcom of the last five years. And this happened for all type of indicator that show, for example, the average of the industry. I don't know, for example, we can go in the, in the, in the peg ratio, same story. We will not see the trend of the last five years, the cash flow per share, same story. I mean, it's quite nice visually. I, I really like it. And uh, we can see the dividend, the dividend tab. So we see all the dividend performance of the previous year, the payout ratio, and the industry comparison of, of the dividend in percentage and in absolute value. We can go into the financial if we want, for example, to split and see the revenue. We can check income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, I mean, the usual. And if we click, for example, on the revenue, we can see uh, the, what is the actual revenue, what is the average estimation of the previous year and what are the estimation for the next year. So same story if we go down, for example, for the net income. Uh, I like how they did, they improved a bit, they made it more graphically appealing which is something that is always nice when you look at the number because sometimes when you look at the number it's a bit uh, overwhelming to see just numbers so I like to see some sort of a trend, some chart, I mean uh, at least personally for me it's important. And we can go check other things, social sentiments, short selling, uh, we can go even in the trading central that to show some technical analysis uh, done by somebody else of course so we can see some sort of signal. I'm not much uh, into technical analysis as I said before, but if you like that, maybe this is something uh, you can take as a confirmation or to get some idea from that, why not? You can see the market buzz, I mean, what uh, people are talking about in the news, uh, about the stock, uh, what is the social sentiment, I mean, we have exactly right here social sentiment, we can see the buzz score, I mean, there is really a lot you can do inside this uh, fundamental explorer. I don't use it very much, but I think it's quite nice. So these are the two biggest change they did to the platform, option trading and the fundamental analysis. 
It's also possible now to trade bond if I open my bond portfolio, which is this one, for example. You see, I can see the bonds in my portfolio. I can decide to trade them. I mean, I can buy, I can sell it. Unfortunately, at this stage, the bond scanner is not there, so I cannot make the bond research. That I hope is something that will add pretty soon because for me, it's extremely useful. But I know that for generic retail investor, stocks, ETF uh, and option are the main, so I, they will, I don't expect them to uh, improve much uh, the bond trading on this platform yet, at least not right now. And that's it, after we have the news that was there also before, uh, we have news about all type of stock uh, or news only related to your portfolio. Uh, I still prefer to use uh, an external service like uh, Seeking Alpha to check the news. I don't like to do inside my broker. I personally prefer not to open much my stock broker unless I want to trade something to buy to sell or to do some cash operation. Uh, whatever I do my analysis, I do on, it, on Seeking Alpha, which I find it better. But it's nice that you have this option right here. Uh, what to say? I like it. I like the fact that basically every month, month and a half, they came out with a new version. So I'm honestly, quite happy to see what, where they are going to be in the next month. So I really can't wait to see version number seven, what they will add. Uh, for the moment is all. I don't think I will make another review right now. I will probably wait until this will go out of the preview mode or maybe something like version 10 if they do some really big improvement. For the moment, I want to do this review because uh, in the previous one, I said that the biggest uh, problem is the missing of the option chain and the possibility to trade option. They solve it, so I really wanted to share with you guys. Thank you for watching. If you are into option trading, check the two projects that I'm running. One is on Covered Call, one is on the Wheel Strategy. Every link I will put in the description. If you want to open an account with Interactive Broker, there is also the link. You get some free money or free commissions, something like that. I get some money, so why not apply with that? Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.